to a primary school. And yes, it's the Mini Olympics starting to be put into place. And the men are doing the work. Joining me is Nick from Tiger Turf. How are you, Nick? Good night, sir. Thanks very much for joining us on Geelong Newsbeat, uh, bringing us all the great news from the city of Greater Geelong. Uh, a wonderful innovation, uh, this uh, new technology, that I suppose you'd call it. How long have you been working in this type of work? Uh, I've been in the industry probably only, only four years now, but it's only a, a fairly sort of new industry. I mean, it's been around for years since the grass, but to this stage, it's getting pretty big these days, but yeah. And uh, this one at Chua Primary School, uh, unique in, in the fact that it's uh, it's an all-purpose uh, with the, the running track, the uh, uh, tee ball and the softball diamonds, as well as the general playing area. Yeah, so there, this is what we call a multi-sport. Um, we do a lot of them these days, but this is probably one of the it's more standard, a lot bigger though, a lot bigger in, in, in size, but this is, um, we tend to do these a lot these days amongst tennis courts and all the other whiz stuff with it, so... Nick, when you first started uh, and looked at what the playground uh, was uh, originally, uh, what was the process you then had to go through to bring it up to its current level? Um, well, we got a, two teams at work, a base construction team, which is when they come in and assess the, the area, and what they've done is come in and dug out quite a lot of the topsoil of the original oval that was here. Um, they then um, put in uh, between 100 and 200 mil, depending on what the school wants, of crush rock, of a... Uh, 50 mil and a 20 mil and then a 5 mil. It's all all laser laser levelled and all perfectly level. And then um, we pretty much just come in and, and the school gets to choose what they want, soccer field, running track, all the rest of it. And we draw them up a drawing of what we think should work and we pretty much put it all together. So the, the key element in the first uh, step is, is like building a house. Do you lay a solid foundation? Pretty much, yeah. yeah um, unless you've got a good base, it won't be very good. Like The grass will, will look good for a little while, but after that it'll just fall to pieces really. And then your technique of, uh, of laying the different uh, designs, I suppose, different colours, particularly the running track. You've, uh, you, you cover the straights well in, uh, in, in easy rolls, but when you get to the bends, it needs a master touch. It's probably, yeah, it's probably the trickiest part of the whole job, I reckon, doing the, the corners on the running track because it's all they don't come out um, in corners for us. So we have to stick it all together and then put, our, put the lines in ourselves, whereas the straights are all, it's all stuck together, which makes it pretty easy for ourselves. Now, our viewers are probably thinking, how is it all staying down on the ground? Yeah, in the wind today, it's not too bad. Luckily, we've already put all the edges down, secured them, tucked them in downside of the garden beds and whatnot, so no wind can really get under it. And a very, uh, obviously, uh, a special purpose type glue? Uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy duty, um, trailable glue that we use. Um, we've also got a glue here we're using at the moment, a wet glue that only works in, in the wet. The wetter it is, the better it works. And, um, yeah. So, uh, and you're, you're working from, uh, as I, I hear from good reports from the school, daylight till, well, from dawn to daylight, all the daylight till dusk. Yeah, pretty much in the winter, it's pretty cold and, and frosty. This, like, each morning we've had ice all over it, which means it doesn't sort of dry out until 10, 10.30, 11 o'clock, which means we've got to work pretty late, get most of the day in. And then once you've finished uh, laying, uh, what's, what's the final step in uh, preparation? Uh, uh, once we've got all this as it is now, we tend to put over this whole area, it's going to be about 64 tonne of sand, which goes in the grass and makes all the grass stand up, also weighing it down and helping with the, with the drainage of it. And in, the, in this middle bit with the longer pile of grass, um, about 10 tonne of rubber, rubber granules go in it, makes it gives it its sponge and, and makes, you know, makes it a lot easier for balls to bounce on it and a lot more cushiony. The men at work from Tiger Turf and Rick is doing the job. Congratulations, keep up the good work here at uh, the Chua Primary School and the wonderful innovation of a new outdoor activity. They're going to be holding their mini Olympics soon. We'll be covering it here on Geelong Newsbeat as we go to the message of the week from St Mary's Basilica and Father Kevin Dillon. <laughs>